I, hey guys, welcome to 10 and 10, the conversation starter show where we list our top 10 in 10 minutes. Today we have a very, very special episode where I have one of my favorite bass players of all time from one of my favorite bands of all time. We've got Cone from Sum 41. How are you doing, Cone? I'm all right. How are you guys doing? Yeah, yeah good, doing great. Mate. Thanks for having I'm me. Mates, so stoked to have you. Um, who better, Tim, to say the best or the favorite Sum 41 songs oh. than one of the dudes who wrote them and plays them, of course, of every course. day. So, <laughs> um, so stoked to have you. Um, these are not the greatest Sum 41 songs, the most iconic. These are just what we think are our favorite songs. Um, yeah, fair Sun enough. 41. So, um, let's get into it. All right, guys. We're going to start off with our number 10 here. Number 10 Sum 41 song here. It's probably a bit left to center, yep. but uh, we had to listen um, to all these songs through the other day and we couldn't go past Crash off Screaming Bloody Murder. Ah. It's just a beautiful, beautiful piano song yeah, from Derek. Um, it's kind of like, for me, it's almost like the Beatles kind it's of vibe come through. Um, and I just yeah. love Crash. Every time I listen to it, love it. Yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Like, uh, we, we well, I, play, like, uh, I think a couple of years ago, we used to play it live. Um, yeah. But we didn't we didn't really play live even on the Screaming Bloody Murder tour. But I think yeah. we played it eventually live later on. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's that's interesting. You guys like that one, yeah? Awesome. Yeah, thank you. What's your number ten, Kai? My number ten. Huh? Oh, uh, I have "Fake My Own Death." Yeah, nice. Love it. From Thirteen Voices. Yeah, that was kind of like the first single back after you know two years away yeah. from the band, and um, I just had the the riffs really rip yeah. in and I, I like to play it live and um yeah i don't know i just uh like i was saying before like I, I picked kind of this list of songs in order of like kind of how i like to play them live um, yeah because i you know recording all these songs for for the last 20 years um it's kind of like it's hard to pick favorites and because you go through all these you know moments of like oh i love that one i now i don't like this one i hate that song oh i love that song yeah, yeah. so it's really yeah. tough for for me to pick my favorite 10 some 41 songs so i just kind of yeah. went with my live my life but fake my own death number 10 i think nice yeah it's a awesome. banger, it's a banger. so good man um our number nine we've got another ballad one um we've got pieces from chuck ah so you like the soft more, side, huh? You like the soft side. Oh, well, we started off soft. We started soft, <laughs> and then we're we, we, we pretty heavy out. Um, but yeah. I think that's one of those songs that's just um fast. Like I was born '87, he's '89, so pieces was kind of like in that sweet spot of us, and that that whole kind of Chuck and yeah, Chuck, Chuck and just affected um, kind of time period of some forty one. It's real special. Like out upper high school and kind of onto graduation, and that's the yeah one of the most iconic songs I think for us of that album. But honestly, with yeah. this list, man, we could have gone. 20 days easy yeah and we were like we're trying, to, <laughs> trying to go from it but yeah pieces yeah, interesting pieces is cool like i i pieces and all my pieces isn't on my list but i love pieces um it yeah. could be on my list but that was actually the first real slow song that we released as a single ever um, yeah. yeah so it's kind of frightening for us you know because yeah. we've gone we went through all these heavy hard songs um and then we were like oh let's release a ballad and yeah, uh, yeah. so pieces was like the first basically slow song we ever released as a single and yeah, uh yeah. and it did it, it, yeah people uh, we still play it and people love it so yeah i'm glad you yeah. guys put that on your list uh, nice nice yeah what do you got for number nine buddy number nine i have it's kind of off the map as your number 10 like your number 10 song i've scum fuck yeah yeah, yeah. nice yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah yeah scum fucks crazy song like I, I think i mainly like it because of like i really like the bass stuff in it <laughs> yeah, yeah. but i know i do like to play it live it's one of those songs that kind of took on a whole new life and um when we released scream bloody murder and that song kind of came out we jokingly i think said we should call our fan club now the scum fucks yeah and now now it's like now it's a thing now like the yeah. you know a lot of fans call themselves scum fucks and all this stuff <laughs> and i don't even know if a lot of fans even know that song you know you know yeah. they just call themselves and we did shirts and all this whole thing yeah. and uh yeah. but actually i genuinely love the song i like how it starts out kind of droney and yeah. then yeah. uh gets into this kind of like almost carnival-y kind of piano thing at the beginning with the guitar and yeah. uh, live it's really fun to play so yeah i, I yeah. like that song nice yeah no it's a great song all right number eight for me we're going to take a bit of a different turn now we're going to go heavier yeah. uh we're going to go out for blood from order and decline yeah. just an yeah, absolute cool. banger like oh man what really more can you want to some ripping guitar solos <laughs> yeah ripping yeah. guitar solos it's just 
yeah. just screaming vocal. It's just it's yeah. just an intense song. Um, so yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite of the uh, last couple of albums. It's just killer song. Yeah, yeah. Alpha Bloods, number eight for us. Yeah, nice. Yeah, Dave really uh, slayed that solo. He's yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. mental. Um, yeah, cool. Yeah. I mean, it's on my list too, but it's actually a little bit further out. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's hard to bump awesome. it. I was just when we went through the list, we're like, holy moly, how can yeah, it's very hard. To how do. can we have Alpha Blood, which is one of my favorites at eight? But yeah, and you look at Bobby, you're like, man, it's just fucking out. There's so many good songs. Yeah, right, yeah. You got to start writing good songs. Cool. It's going. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. My number eight is Reason to Believe. Nice. Yeah, come on. That's one of my honorable um, mentions. Yeah, I, I have a couple song. of those yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Reason to Believe. I, uh, we we don't really play live anymore, but we we did for a long time, and we used to open our show um, with that yeah. when yeah. when the album came out. Um, I don't know. There's so many reasons I like that song. It's um, you know I like the epic intro and I like the soft outro and yeah yeah. Uh, you know it's weird. It's one of those songs that was never really a single but it was the first mm. song on screaming bloody murder and people really i found that over time just even that outro like our fans yeah, yeah. really they know all the words to it and everyone sings yeah. along especially you know in europe and asia and stuff people know that song especially that outro and yeah. uh you know the lyrics are very meaningful which i which i appreciate as well yeah for sure yeah it's a great song uh, um, seven, mate, and number seven we've got over my head off the oh yeah confession. Yeah, so um, one of my favorites, I, I love it. Um, still remember the 03 Warp Tour video um, yeah. where your bass is the loudest thing in the mix and it's, <laughs> it's kind of tinny and hot and I love it. And I don't know how often you hear that, yeah. but man, that, yeah. that Warp video is for that song, just money for me. But yeah, um, yeah, it's kind of, it's riffy, it's cool. It's kind of heavy art, but yeah, yeah love that song. Great song. Cool, I agree. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh at seven what do i have at seven? Oh, i have another i have a kind of like a deep cut but um we started playing it lately um uh, but just derek on his own um best of me yeah uh, it's on, under, uh, it's yeah. on underclass, hero. underclass hero and this yeah. is one this is a song this is my only slow song on the list um yeah but uh this is one like derek and i talk about it all the time that this is kind of like the one that got away that we yeah. probably should have released as a single on that album yeah um, I mean, on that album, we had Underclass Hero and yeah, Walking yeah. Disaster and With Me. But Best of Me was one that I always look back on and think, man, that, if we would have released it as a single, would have got more attention. And, and yeah. I, people seem to know the song, but they not enough people do. Uh, but yeah. it could have probably been a bigger song than it is. Uh, I, I've yeah. always loved it. And I think it's one of the best slow songs Derek ever wrote. Um, yeah just never people just don't know it because we never really released it as a single yeah it's definite hidden gem is that because you'd already released um a ballad off that album so you didn't want to release two or uh i th not no i think it was just one of those things that we released three singles and they were kind of like well man you know yeah new album new album yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. kind of one of those things yeah. yeah three singles is a lot these days um, and yeah, back, yeah. you know, back when that album got released, when was that? 2007, it was still three. It was kind of like the, the way to go, way to do, unless yeah. you had like, uh, you know, an American idiot where, you know, the whole yeah. album singles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right. Well, we're going to go uh, number six here. Now, when we talk about the most iconic pop punk guitar riffs of all time, it's Damn It from Blink-182 and the Hell Song from Sum 41. They're the two best, <laughs> I think. So, yeah. So number oh, six wow. means Hell Song. It's like, one of the soundtracks of my childhood teenage yeah. years so can't go past it killer chorus great guitar solo as well so many good memories listening to that song. incredible film clip great film clip yeah, yeah. so yes yeah, number six ross that's my number six too yeah oh, awesome man. let's go yeah <laughs> yeah i mean i was going to the i mean i do love we always open our show with that song um, we yeah. have for so long. We swapped it a few times, but that's kind yeah. of the show opener. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's it's the for me, it's like the that song. I always think back to the video. The video, yeah, you know, coming like you couldn't like we. Everyone thinks it was a cheap, cheaply done video. It actually wasn't. Um, yeah. We still <laughs> still spent some money, and mainly because like you know we have to have a whole film crew there anyway doing it all yeah and uh yeah. F and a lot of people don't know we had to clear every single action figure in that video oh yeah and there were and there was some people that said no yeah, yeah. like we i think we i think we were trying to have Eminem in it and he said no 
Yeah. Um, there's a couple of other action figure guys that we had, like every single person in that video, we had our record company have to reach out to and, and yeah. get the okay. And a lot of people, oh, yeah. and some, there's a couple, I mean, most people said yes. Well, I mean, you'd yeah. be a fucking idiot not to, but uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's like free, someone... free publicity for your yeah. action figure. Did you have yeah. someone um, say yes that you were surprised said yes? Or? Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to refute him saying yes, though, really, if you ask. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to say he didn't say that. Well, as atheists, I don't think that yeah. uh, it, was a hard, it was a hard thing. But, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, mate, number five for you. you got, um, we've got, I mean, it's, it's not going to come across good as, uh, for us, Tim, but we've got with me from Underclass. Um, which yeah. I, I think your, for me anyway, your peak ballad, just the, when the drums and stuff come in, it's just so hot and so powerful. And um, yeah, just, just love that song. And that yeah, whole thanks. album I actually love. I thought it kind of flew under the radar a bit, kind of going back to your all killer kind of sound. But um, yeah, that, that song, man, was just, yeah, I love it. So yeah, that's it. Yeah, cool. We, we still, yeah, we play, we play that live still. Um, but we change yeah. it a little bit. We don't play it as heavy. We, we yeah, play yeah. it pretty much all mellow until the end. But um, yeah, I, I like that song too. You know, yeah. I mean, best of me and that on that album, they could have they could have both been singles, yeah. but um, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Uh, my number five, which we've already done, is out for blood. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I mean, like you guys said, like the guitar solo. I, you know, I love playing that song live, especially because yeah. it's kind of like a different intro. It's kind of like this like drone yeah. little synthy mm -hmm. kind of thing. Um, yeah, really, yeah. Um, low end thing but uh the riff and everything yeah it's a really fun song to play live um, yeah it seems it like, it's listening to it you're like man that would just go so hard live yeah <laughs> yeah it's one of those songs like when you release it it normally when you release a single it normally takes a while for the crowd to catch on because even if yeah. it gets played on the radio or whatever like it takes everyone a while to sink in and know mm -hmm. the words for for some for whatever reason when we when we released out for blood the first time we ever played a live, people knew the words and yeah, like, yeah. were singing along, and it was it was really shocking. And yeah, uh, so right. that that's that that meant something. It was like okay, people hope people are gonna like this song, you know, because they yeah, grasped it you know, really quick. One thing I think you guys do so well is you do heavier songs, but it's still melodic, and you yeah. can still understand every word, and um, it's still easy to sing to. It's not like a mm. some metal that you listen to is indistinguishable and it's he like super heavy and super distorted. You kind yeah, of true. manage to do heavy but clean, and yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Try and stay away from math rock where you yeah. kind of count beats and you don't yeah, know where yeah, things yeah, are yeah. going. And... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. All right, mate, I'm going to go uh, number four now. Now, this is a song that's very special, close to my heart. Um, I think because of how iconic it is in the change in sound for you guys is we're all to blame. Number oh, four, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cool. And I just think uh, just going to such a heavy sound and um, doing yeah. it so well and it's such a creative song and I love all the parts, how it goes, you know, like, it's up and down, it's left, right, it's all over the shop, and I love it. Just yeah. love the song. So, number four for me. Yeah, especially nice. in that kind of pop punk, punk kind of time zone when people weren't going that heavy, really. Mm -hmm. um, you guys to rock that was so cool. Yeah. That was definitely the most different uh, we had gone at that point. Yeah, uh, because yeah. we'd come off of all killer and just look infected, yeah, yeah. and that was kind of like, well, up until that point, like every sing first single we released was like kind of left field, like even Fat Lip, like no, yeah, that yeah. was. That was a tricky song like that was a, it was a it was a risk yeah. to release a song like that because that's like yeah, basically yeah. kind of rap rap and pop yeah, punk yeah. and all this other stuff and still waiting coming off of in too deep it's too deep, you know yeah. now 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 you're like we're screaming in a verse and so yeah. it's like every yeah. first single up until that point it was kind of risky for us and uh, yeah. we're all to blame i think was probably the most because it was you know the heaviest that we'd ever done but it was like yeah like you said like into all these journeys so we weren't really sure how that it was going to go we knew we yeah. liked it and that's what we've always done with our careers like we just release stuff that we like and yeah. uh you know yeah. cross your fingers <laughs> hope yeah. everyone else does and yeah, uh, that's the best well. we can that's the um, best we can do <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah do you get pushed back from the um record companies and stuff saying oh maybe don't release a heavy uh, song or release this one or do you guys have a lot of say actually um in the early days with all killer and even does look infected it was they were pretty into whatever we want to do um when we were creeping into chuck and underclass because we we're still on a major label um then it started getting a little bit we got a little bit of pushback yeah. as we crept into those albums mainly because yeah. um our style of music was kind of getting 
out of the mainstream yeah, a little bit yeah. it wasn't yeah. being played and they our label had a lot of pop and hip-hop that was like really going big and yeah. so we were kind of like pushed aside anyway um so we were getting basically pushed back on whatever it wasn't yeah. necessarily a song or an album it was just kind of basically the kind of band we were you know yeah. we, we yeah. could we could have come out with another fat lip and we probably still would have got pushed back yeah yeah um, so yeah. anyway yeah it was it was it was it was good in the earlier days but as you know underclass came and and even scream bloody murder it was yeah pushed back all the time yeah yeah um but uh my number four is no reason which is yeah, uh, yeah no. same album yeah same album it. but uh i just that's another one that for me i wish that was a single yeah um mm-hmm. i love that song and and uh, it, that song live everyone seems to yeah. know again like our fans seem to like it and uh that's that's definitely up there for me no reason it's the haze yeah, yeah, and the chorus and oh, it's, everything it's about it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get there in a second. We're going to get there in a second. <laughs> ah, okay, good. <laughs> but before our number three, um, we will do honourable mentions. Oh, yeah, any honourable mentions. So um, our one, so we got, um, for me, the biggest ones, it's Fat Lip and In 2D um, from All Killer. They're just right. so iconic for us. They're so, so good. Um, we, they didn't make our list, which is criminal, I think, for us. But um, <laughs> Totally criminal. I know, seriously. <laughs> They're just so good and so iconic. And Fat Lip is just such... I just love it. I, even though yeah. I just crank it all the time. But I think as time got further and production got better and um, you guys just Keep developed as songs, um, yeah. kind of artists as well, it's like, man, I don't know where to sneak in, where to mm. fit it in. But like 20 years this year, isn't it? Like since All Killer. And yeah, um, do you guys still... Like, do you still have a, a vibe playing it or are you kind of getting a bit over playing it anymore? Like yeah, no. Every year uh, for 20 years? No, it's funny and fair enough, like, you know, because it is on the pot. Those songs are on the popular song and they're the side and there's kind of the first songs released. So I, I totally appreciate that people moved on to like the heavier stuff if they like the heavier stuff. Um, but yeah, playing them live, I, we all still love playing them because yeah. for if, if, if the crowd hated them, if it was yeah. like one of those songs that was like so poppy that it was yeah, so yeah. out of left field. But, you know, there's still rock songs and and live. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're still heavy enough. Yeah, um, you know, we yeah. have three guitar players, <laughs> you know, yeah, it's, yeah. You know <laughs> it's, so it's, it's heavy no matter what we play live. Um, and, and the crowd just love fat lip and into deep. So yeah. that's, it makes, it makes us love them still to play them live because oh, yeah, th- those are like probably the biggest songs in the set still. So yeah, when we start those songs, the crowd erupts. Yeah, uh, yeah. So it's hard not to like those songs. Still. Yeah. As yeah. I said, for me, like, um, kind of finishing up high school when that was I think I was like late high school as that was coming out like they were just just everything hey like those yeah. couple of songs they were just so good so um yeah, cool. fat lip had, like introducing the rap and everything as well I'm like man this is just such a oh, cool flip and love yeah. it um yeah. so yeah for my my three honorable mentions are those two and underclass hero as well which yeah um, oh yeah yeah for that song took took me back to that album actually I think um the sound kind of went back to that yeah pop punk kind of style as really opposed to like a the heavier yeah, totally. stuff. So yeah. um you guys love it. They just um what Tim and I did for this list is I had our, my top ten, Tim had his top ten and we kind of scaled them together to make one. Yeah. Um, okay. so yeah, those three kind of just got bumped just off. Out, yeah. Yeah. Same with uh fake my own deaths was just out of the list. Um never yeah, there yeah. as well as good songs. Um there's a couple of sneaky kind of left to center ones that I love from um Screaming Bloody Murder like Happiness Machine. I just love. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's a random song. I just love it. Um, <laughs> Mr. Amsterdam for me. Mr. I love. Amsterdam. Yeah. As well. Oh, that's a, um, yeah. I like that one. Yeah. No brains. Like there's just so yeah. It's, yeah. It's literally you know, so, dozens of them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so there are there are kind of honorable mentions that yeah. just should have been in there, but uh, yeah, we nice. looked at our list and we don't know where to put them in. But how about yeah, you, cool. Honor like honorable mention. Yeah. Uh, I have. Um, yeah. I, I when I was going through the list, I like I wrote down "Turning Away," which is the first song on um, "Order and Decline." Yeah. And uh, and I, I love that song. And it just didn't make my top ten, but it's like it could have. Like I, it's a newer song, but I don't know something about that chorus. And um, yeah, I remember when Derek sent me the demo of it. I was like, oh my yeah. god, I fucking <laughs> love this song and and the riff and everything and uh the little piano intro yeah, yeah. 
Um, it, yeah. to, to me, that song turned out amazing. Um, yeah. And we worked on it really hard in pre-production and, um, you know, there it came with the, basically the song written and then we just have to kind of work out the kinks of it. Um, yeah. And then my other one was, it's a 13 Voices song called God Save Us All. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And again, like when I first heard that, yeah, Derek (laughs) sent me that demo and we were kind of getting the band back together and all this stuff. In my head, I was like, that is the first single on this album. Yeah. And uh, it didn't. I mean, Fake My Own Death was the first single, granted. Uh, But that to me could have been, I mean, we made like a live video for it, but it wasn't a proper single single. Yeah. Um, Yeah. I I love that song. Um, Everything about that song, really. So those are my two that I no, kind awesome, of like man. had written down, but they got scratched out because I yeah. <laughs> thought of others. Yeah, no, nice. All right, okay. man. All right, our top three, in, top three. Top three. Um, our number three is Screaming Bloody, Mur- Screaming Bloody Murder from. Oh uh, yeah. The Screaming Bloody Murder album. I just, yeah. oh, just love it, man. Yeah. Like the intro is kind of reminiscent of Pretender for, from the Foo Fighters for me, where it starts slow and it gets yeah, that snare drum yeah. and the riff underneath, but yeah, man, it's just so yeah. good, so hot. We could get to my solo, it's just, yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. It's, yeah. It's the same thing. What What more could you ask for in a Sun Forty One song than Screaming? Yeah. Forty One? It's got every. It's got yeah. catchy chorus, heavy heavy guitar riffs, great guitar solos, good yeah. bassline. It's got everything you need. So, yeah. yeah so cool. That's our number three, man. Yeah. Nice. My number three. I mean, we've already touched on it, but I, I had to put it in because Fat Lip. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's the song that basically put us. Put us yeah. Pe- yeah. Uh, after that song, people knew who we were and. Yeah, and like yeah. I said, like people to this day still freak out when we play it live. Yeah. Mm. So it's 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 hard not to still love that song. And it, you know, it's funny because I live in Toronto, and um, <laughs> Toronto stations don't play some Forty One as much anymore, but they still play yeah. that song quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so I'll be driving in my car, and I'll be th- flipping through stations, yeah. and now I'll come on, and I, say, I sit and listen to. It, I'm like, fuck, still sounds pretty good for like you know good, because man. because you know like you said like um, you know production has gone in different ways through the years yeah. but um you know that next to any song on the radio i'm still like man, yeah, it still dude. sounds really good to me still maybe i'm biased <laughs> i don't know <laughs> oh, no, man. i was driving to tim's house this morning and i had that on and i was just like man how is this not on a list because it's just still so good yeah such a banger yeah. it's just yeah, just yeah so much vibes man oh, for sure so yeah cool. just love that song but yeah it's nice an awesome number three all right. number, uh, two. number two for me okay so number two we're going no reason so yeah. same thing again the number one two and three spots they're all like i say yeah. what more can you ask for on a song no i reason. love yeah. the uh the intro of it's probably my favorite intro of any song 41 song with Derek like screaming and it's just a killer song yeah. um so yeah like no reason has a special place in my heart and that's that's probably my favorite non-single song as well from some 41 like wasn't wasn't actually single but easily could have been um yeah i guess that's mine then too yeah 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 so yeah, yeah. no reason number two for us yeah Cool. Number two, uh, I mean, you guys already had this one, but over my head, yeah, like, yeah. my my favorite album we ever did was Those Look Infected. So yeah, um, over my head's one of those songs that it, l- playing it live, you, you kind of you kind of get it on the record, but when you when we play it live, or you know when I see it back on YouTube yeah. live, when I watch us back yeah. on YouTube, yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, man, that song really rips live. And yeah, and I great. I know I have fun playing it live because I can feel yeah. the energy from the crowd. But yeah. when I see it like on you know filmed or like our videographer shows us footage of it live, I'm like, man, that song. I I you know I love playing it live, and it seems like our crowd loves it too. And I think yeah. that song kind of rips live, so that's why I yeah, really man. like it. Yeah, nice. No, I love it, man. Look at number one. Uh, T. Oh, uh, number one. We've got. I feel like we have the same number one. I mean, it might be because we haven't mentioned it, but it's still waiting for us. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think when that came out, it was just it just everything about it is yeah. perfect. Like, yeah, the kind of aggressive vocals, but it's super clean still, and it's super heavy, boring. but still being kind of yeah punky. And the film clips just. Oh, yeah. such an iconic film clip of yeah kind of yeah. i don't know if you're taking the piss of those type of bands but it's um <laughs> yeah. it's uh awesome. no like, yeah 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 love yeah. it yeah, it's, cool. it's, it, it's just our favorite like it had to be number one for us yeah yeah that's my favorite too no the film clip you know we um there's a little, couple of stories about that song and one being um it was the last song to, that we recorded on Does Look Infected. It was the last demo. We were basically done the album. And Derek, on the last day, came in, came in with this really rough demo. 
He's like, ah, I think I have one more idea. And we were basically ready just to pack it yeah. up and we're gonna fly to New York City and record the album. He's like, I got one more idea. And he yeah. showed us this like really rough demo and it was still waiting. And we we're all kind of turned to each other like, holy shit, that's insane. That's really, that's <laughs> yeah. crazy. We have to do the song. And uh, we started working on it and it came out the way it did. Yeah. Um, and then the fil- like the video clip was like, we had this idea that we, you know, the, the pop punk thing was kind of going like this, yeah, uh, yeah. the strokes and white stripes that come out. So it was like, yeah, yeah. you know, this new garage rock thing. And uh, <laughs> yeah. so we had this idea to do this video and we happened to be playing in England <clears throat> um, at a festival with the strokes. And we ended up hanging out with Julian you know, Derek and I actually, it was just Derek and I and Julian and uh, I think Fab, the drummer, kept walking yeah. in and out of the, so we ended up in, in Julian's hotel room until really early in the morning, <laughs> wasted, and we yeah. said, we have, this I- we have this idea to do this video and we're going to play like you guys, like it's like basically your yeah. video set. Yeah. yeah. And we're like, what do you think about that? And he was like, I fucking love it, like, go, <laughs> do it. And we're like, all right, we're going to do it then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, it was probably one of those drunk conversations where maybe he was like, ah, oh, those fucking guys, whatever. Yeah. whatever. <laughs> woke up in the morning, was like, there's no way. And then he probably woke up two months later. and was like, holy shit, yeah. they did it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, we love the Strokes. And, yeah. uh, you know, and we hung out with the Strokes so many times back in those yeah. days. And um, so we weren't, we weren't taking the piss. It was more, we were taking the piss of ourselves. Like we were yeah, yeah, basically yeah. saying like our kind of thing is fizzling out and yeah. this new thing has come. Um, yeah. But yeah, still waiting. I think, you know, for me also that song has the lyrical content of it. Cause at the time, like, you know, George Bush and the U S just invaded Iraq. Yeah, yeah. And so it was a big topic at the time. And that's basically what the song was about. And, yeah. but I listen to it now and I feel like, the relevance of that song is still stands still, up. Oh, it's yeah, almost, yeah. it's almost more relevant now. More relevant now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like there's yeah. so much stuff going on now, um, especially when Trump was in that I just feel yeah, like yeah. the song, cause the song could have really been released now and been more relevant, um, yeah. but it was relevant then. But that's what, that's what a good song to me does is like, it can stand the test of time. And still, when you yeah. listen to it, you're like, you can relate to it in the time now. Uh, yeah. and throughout through all the generations and stuff like that so still yeah. waiting just to, it, like i like the energy of the song i love playing a live yeah. but i still i feel yeah. like the lyrical content for me stands up so and that's yeah. that's why i like it yeah yeah awesome oh, i couldn't agree more no we love it Karen, thank you so much for coming on the show we appreciate you um being on here it's such an honor to be able yeah. to talk to you um one of our heroes growing up yeah. and still oh, is. awesome um Thanks so it's me. been great i want to show you one thing before i go in sure. uh 2008 I remember seeing you guys at the uh, Brisbane River stage. I don't know if you remember with Pennywise and the Vandals and Bowling for Soup. For Soup, and yep, I do. you threw me your comb, your comb <laughs> pick and I still got it to yeah. this day. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see that again. That's an older one. Let me see the back of that yeah. again. So there's this and then it's got yeah. the... Yeah, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. So, I remember that pick. Yeah. 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 So I have kept this to this day, and it's, I thought it was really cool to get to chat to you now. Um, we'll see you next time we're over there. Yeah, yeah. that'd be awesome. Sounds man. Can't good. Wait. Sounds good. Awesome, man. Uh, thanks, man. Awesome. Really appreciate Thank it. Bye. All right. Talk to you guys soon.